Thank you very much, uh, uh, the President of uh, Vice President and uh, Secretary and Honorable uh, Colleagues and Audiences. Uh, very good afternoon and assalamu Before uh, I am going to my scientific presentation, just a little bit of general talks. Uh, this is actually uh, স্বাধীনতা শব্দটি আমাদের আর এই স্বাধীনতার পিছনে যারা সূর্য সন্তানেরা বীরেরা যারা তাদের জীবন দিয়ে উৎসর্গ করেছেন এবং যারা অনেক কষ্ট করেছেন তাদের বাংলাদেশ একাডেমি অফ সায়েন্স পাবলিশ দিস অবিচুয়ারি ফর প্রফেসর আনোয়ার হোসেন হি ওয়াজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি এখানে বাংলাদেশ জার্নাল অফ সায়েন্স থেকে এটা উই ক্যান সি ইট জাস্ট আই এম কোটিং সাম পয়েন্টস ফ্রম হিয়ার প্রফেসর আনোয়ার হোসেন ওয়াজ নট অনলি এ ক্লাসরুম টিচার বাট মাই বিএসসি অ্যান্ড এমএসসি স্টাডিজ ইন দ্য ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ ম্যাথমেটিক্স অফ ইউনিভার্সিটি অফ ঢাকা বাট হি ওয়াজ নেক্সট টু দ্য প্যারেন্ট সেকেন্ড গার্ডিয়ান অফ মি লাইক মেনি আদার স্টুডেন্ট মেনি আদার অফ হিজ স্টুডেন্টস প্রফেসর আনোয়ার হোসেন ওয়াজ এ টিচার এ মেন্টর এ সুপারভাইজার and a guide to us, a great advocate and lighthouse for all of the students around him. He was like an institution for us. Many of his students are now well known for their contribution in their respective research fields research and for working, professor, working as a professors and researchers in various academic institutions or scientists and research institutions worldwide. So he was actually what i am doing now is a uh, major contribution uh, have professor as uh, professor anwar hasan uh, he actually taught us how to do the research from the beginning like abcd how to do research and how to do computer programming and how to do uh, results and everything uh, and the last part of this obituary though we can read it uh, from the jebas uh, uh, web page Uh, here are some, some uh, lines I, I would like to put for him. Professor Anwar, he has done so many good works for so support the society and did so much for his students who are now doing very well in their teaching and research. Contributing <coughs> to society and mankind is only the decision of our Lord, the only God, the Almighty Allah, that who will be forgiven, he alone is the one in whose control is our final destiny. We loved Professor Amar Hussain so much and we pray for him and love to believe that uh, the Almighty, the most merciful, will forgive him and instead him in the peace of eternal, uh, in the place of eternal peace in the eternal destination. Just uh, a tribute for him. Uh, this obituary has been published in the Bangladesh Academy of Science Journal. So, anyone of uh, the from the from this audience and uh, others who ha, who uh, didn't already know this can read it uh, totally from the uh, web page so i am going to my presentation uh, i am dr abdul alim uh, introduction has been given the presentation apps a uh, couple of parts here and uh, number one so this Computational fluid dynamics uh, applied to biomedical computational fluid flow and heat transfer with nanofluids. This is the today's uh, title of the presentation. Uh, actually, in computational fluid dynamics, we do many types of research like combustion and reacting flows and turbulent flows, uh, laminar flow, and uh, many other parts in there in general computational fluid flow. I will um, discuss some of those here and heat transfer and nanofluids is uh, recent 
trend in the search in fluid flow and transfer. So what is CFD? Computational fluid dynamics, CFD is a is the science of predicting fluid flow, heat transfer, mass transfer, and associated phenomena by means of computer simulation for uh, computer simulation for methods in CFD. Computational uh, for methods in CFD, we use uh, actually many computer methods uh, just to mention. Uh, finite difference method, there are Ranji Kutta method and six order Ranji Kutta method, and uh, other many other methods to use. And major method is finite difference method, and finite element method, finite volume method, and finite power degree method. These are the methods. Uh, we and students who want to do research in this field need to uh, study first the method, who, uh, which one he or she need to use, and then uh, he proceed uh, to go for simulation of some problems, physical problems, then convert it to um, mathematical model and, and to solve. And here is some uh, sentence about why CFD expensive experiments are being replaced by numerical simulation, cheaper, faster, easy to simulate uh, phenomena that cannot be experimentally produced, reproduced. Experiment, some, some experiments may be costly uh, so in that case, uh, or some experiment uh, may not be done practically. In that case, we, we may uh, simulate the results by considering the condition, environmental condition and uh, boundary conditions and conditions inside the domain. And then we may simulate and find the results and we can uh, get some idea about the, about the situation or make decision uh, about that. So next. Uh, there are some uh, figures from produced from computational fluid dynamics. Uh, <coughs> simulation <coughs> around a uh, aircraft, around a Formula One car, flow flow around Formula One car, and uh, we may calculate the heat uh, around heat near some point and uh, flow pressure. Etc. We can calculate and uh, get the data. Uh, flow around uh, cyclist, flow around cyclist as well. So simulated result. So this one is this water and uh, some human vein blood flow. We can consider there is also some human respiratory respiratory system. And this is also. So, in competition, mainly uh, to do computer programming uh, and uh, to simulate the problem, uh, we use finite difference method. We use regular geometry. Suppose this is a cylinder and we can take cross section, and the cross section is circle. We may do this problem in two dimensional, we may do the 3D uh, problem uh, to convert it into the Two dimensional circle and flow around uh, flow around the circle. We may use some conditions like uh, magnetic uh, field strength, gravity, uh, then temperature on the wall, temperature far away from the wall, and this is the radius. So these types of uh, problem regular with regular geometry, like cylinder or uh, flat plate, inclined plate, inclined cylinder, and we can use the uh, OEV. OEV surface, and we can simulate the, uh, get the results from <coughs> it. And uh, we can use flat plate, but thickness and uh, conduction due to thickness we can consider. And we can use flow around a square or cylinder like this. These are some results some situation we can this is actually uh, we, we, can, we we did simulated uh, some of some of these problems so mainly actually um, uh, in my field and in in our research field there are 
many types of problem we will do solve and uh, we have a couple of students still working with me uh, at now working with me and actually I'm nothing without the student that's why there are some uh, student works these these are my uh, some of the uh, research idea research interests and students work on many many fields uh, one phd thesis is you know there are many results and uh, these are the phd thesis students have done uh, so far 18 and uh, some mpl and most of those are mpl students uh, they have uh, done in many fields different all are on fluid fluid mechanics and heat transfer uh, and here are at last these three students actually uh, submitted the thesis and waiting for the date of defense and some are working with me uh, and uh, these are actually the publications i and my students have done right. different uh, So I don't want to. We may point out uh, some of the uh, works here. Uh, many of my students have done very good work. I just to mention Dr. Rihanna Rastin have done a PhD thesis and she have done very good work. And uh, after that, she have done. Uh, so many uh, publications on her research field. This was a 3D numerical simulation of thermofluid characteristics of a flat plate solar collector using nanofluid. Uh, using nanofluid, this is on nanofluid. And uh, another one just to mention, uh, uh, Mr. Nasiruddin, numerical study of blood flow um, through stenotic and aneurysmatic artery of human organ. This is uh, this was actually uh, different from the usual, and uh, there are many. Actually, uh, we, we do research on uh, fluid flow, heat transfer, combustion, reacting flow, turbulent, sometimes turbulent, and uh, these are the uh, these are some couple of students just to mention, and uh, next. I'd like to uh, discuss on uh, this part, actually fluid flow, especially with level of fluids and uh, it's actually on Hartman number, uh, sorry, on level of fluid. I get it. Okay. This was uh, nano fluid is uh, fluid flow with nano uh, particles with the fluid has been simulated and uh, some results have been uh, discussed shown here. So the problem is physical. Let's show them. This is the physical model a square cavity or a room and a cone inside that we can uh, change the position of the cone or orientation so there are some square shape left right position top bottom heated wall this is cold wall magnetic fields are there magnetic field strength b naught and the gravity x and y position vertical angle these are the problems so Conservation of mass, that is continuity equation. Conservation of momentum, that is uh, momentum equation. X momentum and Y momentum. Here is, you can see the uh, magnetic field strength here and uh, gravitational term here. And conservation of energy, that is heat, heat equation here. Or energy equation here. There are some dimensionless numbers. X, we can divide. The dimensional x divided by another length to get a non-dimensional or dimensionless x. Similarly, y, u, this is dimensionless 
U V alpha P sigma nu theta. Theta means uh, dimensionless temperature. T minus T cold temperature, heated temperature, and cold temperature. So this is the dimensionless continuity momentum and energy pressures. This is a random number. We are equal to new by alpha Cartman number. This is contains the magnetic field step, rush of number, daily number, and so on. The dimensionless boundary condition, these are UV0, theta equal to 1 at the bottom wall. That means no slip condition uh, for viscosity, fluid particle at the wall will not slip. That's why U0, V0, and theta equal to 1 means wall temperature is high. And uh, at the top wall, wall temperature is 0 and also no slip condition and UV0 and uh, normal uh, rate of sense at the normal direction, the side wall, thermal insulated, and fluid pressure inside and on the wall at the gravity P0. So results are generated with uh, following parameters, standard number, relay number, Specific pitch in the results, vertical orientation, steam lines, vertical orientation. The first cone is at this position and steam lines flow. What uh, is heated, so flow will go up and then. Uh, Of all is cold, so it becomes cooler and become uh, comes to the again to the bottom side. So there will be circulation and there will be another circulation of the fluid flow. So these are the fluid uh, flow for different HA, RA, HA means Hartman number, RA means Shelly number. So these are the particle or interesting lines. There are some description given. So it will pattern. And uh, you can take also the um, numerical result, uh, I mean, line graph at different position, different particle position. This is, uh, this one is suppose y equal to 0.15, something like that. And if we take uh, data along this line, there will be no streamline or flow uh, in this position because uh, cone is occupied at this position. So data will be, graph will be, at this position and from here to here, this position. So, H is zero, RA is the velocity magnitude, velocity magnitude, uh, HA and RA for different values of Hartman, Hartman number is zero and RA equal to 10 to the power five velocity graph and then down again and then so there are some description of these figures and uh, velocity magnitude the velocity magnitude so each a different uh, tally number here is a different Hartman number at different tally number you can see the so the figures and uh, discussion temperature distribution because the uh, one is heated. So red means hot and green or blue means cool. So this dimension, the sized value is one, and uh, it uh, goes to zero at the top wall. Similarly, this is different values of. So, temperature distribution is equal to zero. At the number, or higher at the number, there will be some change in the pattern of uh, heat distribution. These are the 
different types of different control for a subject. H100, like that. And, uh, these are thousand actually. Rally number, thousand, the rally number, more than that, one that thousand. The flow pattern, I think the heat distribution pattern changes here as well. Each uh, equal to zero, really different values of any number. Uh, left cone has been uh, inclined to the left, and the flow pattern. So this is uh, streamlines flow pattern have been changed for left position of the cone, left inclination yeah. for this distribution, this question. The left inclination and streamline for H A equal to 20, 50, and 100, R A equal to 10 to the power 5, 10 to the power 5, and R A fixed, and different values of H A. And some discrimination, uh, so we did some observation as well. The increasing R A increased circulation velocity while increasing <coughs> regarded circulation. Circulation velocity consisted with consistent with observation of vertical orientation. So, uh, yeah, vertical orient uh, when the cone was vertical, when this this uh, pattern was different, and now it's been changed to shown like this. That is a circulation, and there are total circulation. Some temperature distribution results. Temperature, uh, higher temperature is here and lower temperature at the normal and distribution pattern. Suppose uh, green, green line up to this point, they are concentrated on that. That means heat goes up. Similarly, HA50 is a zero, HA means certain number. RHNs here and HHNs at these two positions. Desert discussion, vertical orientation, heat flux. Vertical orientation, heat flux distribution. It means uh, this is uh, total heat flux and heat flow uh, as a function of H A and R. So, at one number changes from 0 to 100 and heat flux. So, flow of heat it is just from here, it is just from here, this position and becomes 2.5. So, for R equal to 1000, 1, this one is the heat flux, and for R A becomes higher. That means uh, rally number equal to GR, rush of number into Pandora number. That's why so heat and flow, both effects are here, and uh, uh, heat flux, total heat flux becomes higher, and that's why it decreases up to this point. So this part is actually nano fluid included uh, uh, in the uh, fluid flow. So some new Items are here, parameters are here, top all nanofluid particle denoted phi and volume fraction of nanofluid particle phi, gravitational force C, always with this one. Conservation of mass, similar way, here is uh, for nano nanofluid, here is NF symbol has been used. So rho, NF, mu NF, and rho NF, all these are for nanofluid uh, equations being just. And, uh, some um, new terms are here rho nf density of fluid rho this one because uh, if we mix the nano fluid nanoparticle within the fluid uh, so partial nanoparticle and uh, total ratio one minus the volume fraction 
So one minus phi multiplied by the pure fluid, and uh, this is nano particle. So the hundred percent becomes here, and this is the density of uh, nano nano fluid. Thermal diffusivity of <coughs> nano fluid. This one rho C P heat capacity of nano fluid. The formula is not such. We we need to use all these uh, items in the program. Thermal expansion of nano fluid. This and thermal conductivity of nano fluid. Velocity, viscosity of nano fluid is this. And here phi denotes the mathematical model. Here also the dimensional less similar to the previous one. Dimensional less term. There are some properties of uh, some nano particle. This fluid Cp is fluid in the particle, different value. So density based fluid and then nano particles. K conductivity. Conductivity of nano particles is higher, much more higher than the base fluid. Beta volumetric expansion of thermal thermal expansion coefficient. This and the sigma. <coughs> Effect of uh, really number on fluid behavior and so for phi equal to zero and uh, h equal to that means magnet no magnetic field and uh, phi means volume fraction of the, uh, so solid volume fraction of uh, nanoparticle. So phi zero means pure fluid. The simulated result is like this, and phi uh, to phi equal to different values of phi. That means particle uh, volume fraction zero, zero point five, point zero five, and point one, and uh, different values of at number zero and fourteen. So. Velocity fit. You can see the steam pattern here. So the temperature fit. Actually, uh, really number. Is good constant for given phi isotherms become smoother and more closed closely back to each with increasing Hartman number. Similar effects is noted for a given Hartman number and increasing phi. Fixed Hartman number and increasing phi. So, the temperature pattern, effect of nanoparticle volume fraction phi on. Hartman number on this is the figure effect of phi on what is this some figures plus uh, is the total heat flux and volume fraction of nano particle. So you can see that uh, heat transfer rate increases similarly for different values of array, heat transfer rate increases. And then this one is effect <coughs> of phi on, on heat transfer for this rally number 10,000, 100,000. This different than previous one. This one is uh, for array equal 10,000 and 100,000. Total heat flux for uh, an infection of a particular sign, each uh, Different is uh, we cannot uh, see that much difference in here, but uh, here you can see up to this point. <laughs> so, some points of conclusion I may point out the increase of with the higher values of RA, the velocity of the fluid particle increased significantly and the Steam lines also show visible changes in the shape. 
effect of AC is not significant for low values of RF. The combination of combination of low or zero magnetic field with low Rayleigh number produce very similar results with the with uh, AJ and RF. Increase with higher values of phi reduces the fluid velocity but enhances the heat transfer. Actually, phi has the limit. If you if we add more solid particles, then uh, the fluid properties, uh, the basic fluid properties may change. That's why uh, there is some limitations of phi. So increasing phi reduces fluid velocity, but this increasing of HF reduces fluid velocity and reduces heat transfer as well. The effect of when number is not prominent when increasing when high, for higher values of phi, but the values of RA, HA, and phi calculated in this work, it appears that phi is more important factor in the written phi means solid volume fraction of nanoparticle, important factor in determining the flow and heat transfer behavior for an input. So these are some, uh, some references related to this. Actually, uh, fluid particle, uh, nanofluid particle, we can use uh, hybrid nanofluid like different uh, nanoparticles combining together in different ratios to add the base fluid. We can use this. We have some works on that. And, uh, Called the hybrid nanofluid. And uh, obviously, nanofluid particle, any nanofluid particle enhances the heat transfer rate. Um, <coughs> some of the some of my uh, results as actually, and I was actually little uh, sick in the last couple of days. Today, uh, just to talk with the audience uh, this presentation here. Last two days, actually, I am not in state of uh, talking to the uh, talking in the presentation. So uh, that's why, if there is any problem in talking, so please forgive me. And these are uh, some of the results uh, uh, we do, but we have uh, many other results, many types of problems we solve me and my students and uh, in our department. So these are some uh, some of those. And I, I could finish my presentation here for uh, to question and answer. So thank you very much.